probably proved um, quite popular. Um, it's the, I think, the first ever um, essay on production possibility frontiers um, that, um, yeah, that the board set. Um, so use, it's, uh, sorry, essay 2A, um, again, 10 marks like all part A's. Um, using diagrams, explain in each case how changes in population and agricultural productivity yeah, um, may affect an economy's PPF. So one's a diagram for population and diagram for agricultural productivity. And again, like with, like, like with well, as with all pies, um, the danger is that you simply draw the diagrams and you don't actually explain why the PPF has shifted. Yeah, that's that's the risk. Yeah, so if we look at if we look at how to do it, or also the SA um, asks you about changes, um, not increases. Yeah, so it would be wise for at least one of these two. Yeah, to consider yeah what happens if there is a deterioration. So population, I mean. I'm sure we all I'm sure we all know that you know, an increase in population shifts the production possibility frontier out yeah in a roughly parallel sort of way and a decrease in population causes the production possibility frontier to move in yeah so that's yeah that's an increase in population that's decrease but where your decent marks are going to be coming from yeah is if you can say well why is that and what you need to be doing is you need to be relating to the idea of factors of production so labor, labor is a factor of production. Yeah, um, so an increase in population means that we have more factors of production available. Therefore, the economy is able to produce more industry. If it put all of its resource into industry, we get an increase in that. If it put all of its resource into agriculture, we get an increase in that. And obviously, if we put some into one and some into the other, we get an increase in both. Um, so it's the idea yeah, that not just population causes it to move out, but why? So because population is labour and labour is a factor of production, an increase in population causes it to shift outwards, whereas you know, the Black Death, of course, means that you know, fundamentally you know, we'll have fewer um, resources and therefore we'll be able to produce less than we could before. Um, I've labelled my axes agriculture and industry, yeah, um, but obviously it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter what you call them. I think it's wise, obviously, to have one of them as agriculture simply because the question asks you about agricultural productivity. Um, but it, yeah, if for the population one you use goods and services, or something it doesn't really matter. But obviously, on the agricultural productivity one, yeah, then you do want one of the axes to be agriculture, otherwise you can't really show the effect. Um, let's suppose that agricultural productivity increases. Yeah, I think the key point here is that there's yeah there is no change, there's no increase or decrease in facts of production. It's just that productivity, yeah, which is output per worker, has got better. Perhaps we found new ways of doing things, new techniques. Yeah, um, yeah, we've yeah yeah we've discovered somehow that yeah we can use pesticides more effectively, or perhaps new ones have been invented. What you want to be explaining is that at point A, there is no effect of this at all. At point A, we're not actually producing any agricultural goods at all. Therefore, the impact of improved agricultural productivity is nil. The amount of industry, the amount of industrial goods remains exactly the same. The effect will be biggest in an entirely agrarian or rural based economy, yeah, where you know, if you suddenly become, if, if all of your resource in agriculture and you become more, your, your, each worker becomes more effective, more productive because of better knowledge or techniques or fertilizer or pesticides or something, then there's going to be a major impact on your ability to produce agricultural goods. So your production possibly frontier goes like that. Likewise, less less probably, but yeah, you know, if there is a decrease in agricultural productivity, perhaps because you, yeah, you know, I mean, I think that I've, I've read stories about how kind of the soil quality across the globe is gradually being reduced. Again, the impact would be bigger. It would have no impact on, yeah, you know, I don't know, Singapore or something. I, I, I mean, I don't know, or, or yeah, you know, the areas that essentially have no agriculture. Yeah, but the more rural you are, the bigger the effect is. So you don't necessarily have to do all four of those versions to get 10 marks, but you do need to be aware that it's a change, not just increase. Um, but the key is to actually explain yeah, how, in this case, we have more facts of production. In this case, we have the same numbers of facts of production, but those that are used in agriculture become more effective. But if you don't produce any agriculture, the impact of an improvement in agricultural productivity is nil or negligible. Yeah, um, and, it's, and it's again that detail, that ability to really explain why things are happening that's going to take you from a mark of five or six yeah, to a mark of nine or ten.